Worshippers can now return to in-person services, but even some pastors say not so fast. They're worried about remaining health risks for their congregation. CBS 2's Christine Lazar has the story. The church at Rocky Peak in Chatsworth has been sitting empty since March, but as churches across California prepare to reopen, Pastor Michael Yearly says Rocky Peak will remain closed and will continue to live stream services. There's this great proverb that says that the uh, the, the the wise person sees danger and takes refuge. But the simple keeps going and pays the price. LA County announced Tuesday that it will align with the state's latest COVID guidelines, which means faith based organizations can resume services as long as they limit attendance to less than 25%. Rocky Peak can fit up to 1,300 people, and the pastor says average attendance hovered near 800. And I'd compare it to going to a great concert and having it 10% full. It's just not the same. The Los Angeles Archdiocese has released what its churches will have to do to reopen with less than 25% in attendance and a maximum of 100 people. Face masks for parishioners and church staff. The deep cleaning of the church after every service, removing the hymnal books and emptying the holy water fonts. High touch surfaces like statues will be roped off. There will be bread only communion and the elderly and immune compromised are encouraged to stay home. Pastor Yearly says he thinks his church will eventually move into a phase of meeting in person, but in small groups in people's homes. The early church didn't have any buildings for 300 years because they're illegal. And yet the, the, the message of Jesus spread and, and went, you know, took over the Roman Empire. Despite this, Pastor Yearly does believe that churches are essential. But I don't think meeting in large groups is necessarily essential or wise. First AME Church in South LA is also holding off on opening its doors. In a statement, its pastor says he respects the decision of other churches to reopen. But at this point, he feels like it's safer for them to wait. Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.